Okay, okay, okay. We finally had time to come to terms of what happened yesterday. We've had time to dust ourselves off and genuinely realize that Logan Paul has bought not only one, nor two, nor three, but six first edition base set booster boxes, which he plans to do a box break on one of them on the 27th of February this month. And guys, today we are gonna do a breakdown and I'm gonna be telling you guys what that means for everyone in Pokemon. And also we're gonna kind of look through the video a little bit and kind of see if there's some things that we might have missed because so much happened in that video yesterday. But first and foremost, a big, big thank you to you guys. We've just hit 3000 subscribers. The road to 4,000 is underway. So I need your help. Can we smash over 100 likes on this video? And if you are new, be sure to subscribe and share my channel to your friends. Get them involved. We've got an amazing family growing over here on my Pokedean channel and I want you guys to be a part of it. So be sure to share and get your friends involved and get the word out on this channel. But today, like I said, I'm going to be talking to you guys about what this could mean and could bring for the future of Pokemon in today's video. And to bring it into context, I'm going to be looking at some points in his video that he dropped yesterday because we need to talk about a few things. And the first thing I want to talk about is the price of a first edition base set booster box. Now, last year he did a box break with one of these and he bought it for $200,000. Now it has been revealed how much he has paid for the six booster boxes that he bought in yesterday's video, which like accumulated to over $2 million. So I want to quickly talk into that. So if we get into it, as you see here, what did I pay for this? You paid 350k. It's a lot of money for a little box of cards. He paid $350,000, which is 150,000 more than he paid last year. So this box has already gone up to 150,000 more. And in fact, it's actually doubled because if you saw in my previous video, we've recently seen that a box has actually gone for 400,000, 408,000 to be precise, which is crazy. So this means a few things. Now that is that 350,000, now that is pretty much knowledge to everyone who's seen this video, which is a lot of people. I think the views are like at 1.4 million already. This is probably the minimum or like the baseline price for a first edition booster box now. So in a year, it's gone up to 150,000, which is absolutely crazy. But there is another thing we need to take into fact here. Logan has paid for six of these boxes, which cost a combined 2 million. He has basically taken six of them off the market. Now, if he plans to do a box break with all six, we know he's doing one for one at least. That means that there are six less unopened first edition base set booster boxes in the world. There are no, there are six less sealed ones, which now means they are even rarer. So if you own a first edition base set booster box, your box has become even rarer now because there are six less on this planet. So for all we know, that these boxes now may next year be 500,000 or 600,000. Like who's to say that they might not double again because there are less of them on this planet now. But let's get back great. into it I'll because I want to talk about one other thing. Let's go, let's go have some fun, huh? So here, let's go! Zapdos, Chansey, let's go. Now I'm going to pause it. Right here. So as you can see, he's just pulled a Charizard or Shadowless Charizard. It's not first edition. It's just a Shadowless Unlimited uh, Charizard. Now, the reason I've stopped it here is because this card that Logan has just packed isn't a first edition. However, it is still a base set Charizard. So with Logan giving so much attention to this specific set in base set, there are different versions of this card. You have the Unlimited Shadowless. You have Unlimited. You also have uh, evolutions as well. There are other sets in Pokemon that have this artwork. So ultimately is that it raises the price on all of these sets. For instance, evolutions. If you want to get this first edition Charizard, you're having to pay at least at a minimum $11,000. I personally think it's going to go way higher than that. It's probably going to be likely $20,000 a pack. But if you want to try and experience this kind of opening with these sort of cards, you're going to want to go for the next best thing because not everyone has $11,000 that they can just spend on one pack. So they're going to go for the next best thing, which could potentially be you could get an unlimited base set pack, which goes for around $1,000, I believe, at the moment. Or the next best thing, which other people are going to go for, is Evolutions, which is a set that came out in 2016. Uh, it is basically a reprint of a uh, base set. It's not exactly, but it is the same sort of cards, same sort of artwork. And uh, it's a lot more affordable. I think a pack at the moment is going for like $20, which is a lot more affordable for a lot more people. However, it is so scarce out there at the moment, even though it's the most printed set of all time, people are going to want to open those packs because they have these cards inside essentially. 
but that means those prices of those cards are going to go up. Now, I mentioned in a previous video that I could see Evolutions going to potentially $2,000 in the next year or two. And I definitely think that now that this is happening, it is going to do that at some point. But moving on, I want to get into another part of this video, which is very interesting. Participated in and it's right here. Box break, and you actually got a Venusaur. Your Venusaur graded a 10. Perfect. Now, this is special. For every holographic card that I pulled during one of my box breaks, that gets graded a 10. PSA has agreed to put this little tag. This Boom, right here. Now, this is big. So, a lot of people may have missed this when watching the video yesterday, but PSA is a grading service where they grade your cards and it can get graded to a grade between 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Now, what is so special about this, you might ask? As you can see, this could potentially be one of the rarest PSA cards ever. As Logan just stated, from all his box breaks, if a card comes back a PSA 10, it comes with this special stamp where it says first edition Logan Paul break, which is absolutely crazy because this has never been done before. And it is such a historical moment. Everyone is going to know about the Logan Paul box break, the first edition box break. And it is just going to be such an iconic PSA card if you have it, if you see it, because you know exactly when it happened, you know exactly when it was from, and you know that basically everyone has seen this. So you could have two PSA 10 Charizards, right? But one of them could say first edition Logan Paul break. You are going to know exactly when that was pulled. You're going to be able to see when that was pulled as well. And it's just going to have a lot more of a story behind it because anyone could have a PSA 10 card, right? Like, but everyone has the, the person who got it graded would have their own personal story. With the Logan Paul one, everyone would be kind of uh, associated with it because you know where you were when you watched the break if you did. And you just know that it was part of kind of like a historical moment. So personally, I think that's really cool. I think it kind of gives the card a bit of a story to it. It's, it's a bit iconic and uh, that is very special. And I think a few people might have missed that. Now, the question with this is that if you had those two cards, would it make the Logan Paul PSA card be even more expensive and if so how much buy that that's going to be something interesting for the future so a few more things i want to talk about that's enough from that video but there are some very important things i want to talk about about the upcoming year and what could happen in the future with logan doing this box break and buying all six of these booster boxes now one thing i want to talk about is shining fates everyone knows how everyone is hyped for shining fates and with shining fates coming out in just over two weeks there is one thing to note is that while Logan Paul is doing his box break on the 27th of February, Shining Fates is going to be out. It's going to be the new set that is out at that time, which means everyone who's watching the box break and is getting into Pokemon, all these new people getting attention to the Pokemon world, they're gonna wanna open packs. And what packs are out at the time? Shining Fates. Now we have a little dilemma here. As we know, if you've tried to pre-order Shining Fates, it is basically sold out already. It is so hard to get our hands on Shining Fates. But now the problem is there is even more demand. More and more people are going to want to open packs. More and more people are going to go to shops, try and buy Pokemon packs, which will be Shining Fates because it's a set that's out at the moment, which means it's just going to be harder to get our hands on these packs, which is going to be very interesting because obviously it's so hard to get our hands on it at the moment. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see if we can do that. Now, another thing I want to talk about is that, as you know, Pokemon has been out for 25 years. It's the 25th anniversary. Everyone who's been collecting since the first set came out, which like myself, wants to get their hands on base set. Now, there's one thing I want to talk about is that in 10 to 20 years, when all these new people, all these new kids that are coming into Pokemon, the sets that they're going to grow up or come into the scene with would have been Hidden Fates and Shining Fates, which are the sets that have recently come out in recent times. And they are probably the best modern sets of to date. I think that with this Logan Paul box break and with Logan bringing all this attention in for these people, I think that because this is going to be such a memorable moment in the, in the history of Pokemon, I think that when in 10 to 15 years these two sets especially shining fates and hidden fates they're gonna have as much hype as when i did when base set came out because there's just so much attention to it everyone wants to open the sets it's such a fun set whether it be hidden fates or shining fates they are amazing sets to open and they bring so much like happiness because you can get so many different types of cards it's got the charizards in it's got everything they are such amazing sets that i feel like in 10 to 20 years people who grew up with these two sets are going to have the exact same feeling like I do with base set and seeing Logan 
opening up these vintage packs that I grew up with, I feel like it's going to be the same effect, which is going to be crazy. And then lastly, I want to talk about the 25th year anniversary. I don't want this video to be too long, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and smash a like if you have. But I want to talk about the 25th anniversary. Now, the amazing thing is, is that because Logan is doing this on the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, this is just going to be such an amazing year for Pokemon, man. It feels like there is as much hype as there was now as when I grew up with Pokemon. And on such an, like, a momentous year, I feel like this is going to be a great year for Pokemon. There is so much hype for it. There are so many eyes and new eyes, new and old eyes. I think there's just so much attention to Pokemon on such an amazing year that it's just amazing. And the thing is, is that the 25th year anniversary set isn't even out yet. That comes out later this year, uh, around October time. So I think that even then, this could be probably one of the most iconic times in Pokemon history, especially for the card game, because with everything going on this year, with whether it being Shining Fates, whether it being Logan Paul buying six base set booster boxes that are first edition and doing box breaks, and then them also releasing a 25th year anniversary set, I think that this could be potentially one of the most memorable moments, like I just mentioned, alongside when the, when the TCG first came out. So I'm super, super hyped for this year. I'm super excited. I think what Logan's doing is super cool i'm so happy that he's getting back into pokemon especially this year as well because there's so many cool things going on and uh, the main question is is the pokemon company and nintendo going to be able to keep up with the demand are they going to produce enough supply to keep up the demand and uh, are they going to be able to do some cool stuff this year while there is so much hype and attention and eyes on the Pokemon world and the Pokeverse? I absolutely love that word, by the way. But guys, that is going to wrap this video up. Hopefully you have found it enjoyable. Uh, if you have, please smash the like button. Thank you so much for 3000 subscribers. Be sure to subscribe and join the Charizard gang. And also be sure to check out becoming a member. I'm doing a members only giveaway this month. So be sure to check that out. Click the join button. By becoming a member, you also get exclusive perks. So be sure to check it out. But I will see you in the next video. Bye. Until then, I am out.